Hello again, everybody. Harry Boxer, the Technical Trader, Wednesday night, February the 1st. These are the charts of the day. Still going on alongside the market. Had another wonderful day. One of the better trading days of the year at techtrader.com. Certainly a lot of stocks. Let's go over that. Uh, quite a few of them were here. The leading gainer today, Keytronics, which absolutely went ballistic today, exploding 271 or 43% on one and a half million. As you can see, by far the biggest volume in a long time, if not years. Multi year highs here. Went all the way back. As far as I can show you, until we get to about 1996, so a 16-year high, massive head and shoulders, bike bottom. This can support a big move. I'm actually looking for this stock to make it into the high teens eventually. Let's look, though, on a daily basis uh, for the possibility that this will stall and consolidate in this range and set up a nice buy for us. Target, 11.12 short term. Very strong momentum. Coco, another big move today. Um, broke through a solid resistance zone and popped for $1.10 or 36%. Uh, massive 11.5 million shares. That's the biggest volume in quite a long time as well. Broke through the top of the channel. Could accelerate here. If we go back a ways, you'll see that there's some resistance up around the 5.5, 6 zone. I'll call that my short-term target. MGAM, another stock with a big move today. Now, we've been watching this stock after a run-up in October move up in a rising channel. Then it flattened out in January. But today popped 35%, up 263 on 1.6 million to 1016, um, and had a decent close at the high end of the range, right above key res resistance. If you look at a monthly chart, excuse me, weekly chart, and go back a few years, you'll see this is the highest level since 08. And at this point, it wouldn't shock me to see the stock move up towards the 12 and a half, 12 and three quarter zone up near the highs that were reached uh, in the middle of seven, that's five, almost four and a half years ago. RSYS, big day for that today. You can see how that popped up through resistance zone with a thrust of $1.34 at 22%. Uh, 796,000 traded, doesn't sound like a lot, but that's the biggest volume it's traded since June. And on a breakout day, key, we can now look for the stock to make it up towards eight and a half, three quarters. MDVN, motivation, we've been on this stock since it gapped in November. It's been running up in a rising channel, but today was strong news came out. A stock uh, ran, gapped, uh, should I say gapped, opened 65.15, got up to 70.87, close 67.57 on a, some profit taking. Still up 12.16 today, 22%. Big volume too, biggest volume we've seen since the big breakout day, and this one could extend into the 80s. STX, uh, another big day for this one on earnings. The stock exploded with a big breakaway gap above key resistance. I'm looking for a move to 28.8 and a half here. Um, and that was massive volume of 75 plus million shares today. Looking good on that one. BVSN, I indicated to you I felt like coming down to support price and moving area support. We couldn't get a bounce. We got that in the last two days, moving from 20 and a half to 29.84, almost a nine and a half point gain here, about nine points. We're up against resistance here. Let's see what it can do in this zone, whether it is going to accelerate uh, or maybe meet, reach that $34 number, which is going to be very tough to get to, 34 and a half. Why am I? Well, this junior biotech had a significant price breakout above key resistance, holding it back since October. And I recently took out two declining tops lines and now is up near the top of the short-term channel and not that far from resistance in this level here, which is being, is being tested currently. And a move through that, it wouldn't surprise me if it backed off. There's two resistance levels here. But if it gets through, you can see the stock spike up into about the 290 area. WRES, Junior Oil, big pop, recently broke across the kind of tops line, got up to the neckline, stalled for a day, and then boom, broke through, jumping 12.5% or 44 cents today. Volume 1.17 million, or nearly 1.2. That's the biggest volume in, in about a year. And uh, that suggested that we could see a move up to resistance around the four and a half level short term. AFFY, very strong move across key resistance. <clears throat> After breaking out of this wedge, it's moved up steadily for three days and ma made the move from about uh, six and three quarters all the way up to 914, just in the last five sessions, six sessions. So there is resistance here. I would expect that if it can um, move up a little further here. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. You'll see that there's a huge gap up here from 2010. Um, if we get into that gap, we can start to run maybe into mid-gap around 12. That would be my short-term target. 
Hudson, HDSN, after the big pop a week and a half ago, consolidated last week, and pulled back sharply on Monday and then firmed up yesterday. Today, snap back a quarter, almost 10%. There's a double, little triple top right up here at the clear the corner, closed around 280. Move through that, we can see 310 quickly. The longer term chart suggests um, this is key resistance up there, and a, and a move above that could take this uh, to higher levels in the 4 5 zone. This could be a big setup. If you take a look at the long term chart, this is a massive 12 year base pattern. And it should have break out here. It wouldn't shock me to see this go up into the high single digits eventually, longer term. MPC, nice day today, broke out of the base with a thrust and a breakaway gap. Didn't close well, but still up at 366 or almost 10% on. Uh, 11 million shares, that's a terrific day. And I would look for a, a test of the 45 zone and then maybe 46 short term. ARRY, another big day today, popped and closed above this key resistance line, taking out the base pattern. Um, the major declining tops line also pierced here, and that's significant. I would look for the stock eventually get up into this zone up here around 3.5. KAR, if you can take a look at this pattern, you'll see that. The base and the wedging type base was exploded through today. I'd be looking for a test of the neckline of its previous head and shoulder pattern where resistance lies around 17 and a half in my short term target. Halazime, former swing trade of ours, still edging higher, still making multiple year highs. Let's take a look at the real long term chart. We'll see that in 07, the stock reached 11. Uh, today, it, it passed that. This is the highest level it's reached since its IPO. And right now, we're at a level that could just explode the stock. It's Massive basing pattern can support a move up into the high teens. So uh, stay tuned for that on HALO. It is either going to stall right here and back off or absolutely go ballistic in this level. And I would look for short term 12 and a half or so. END Endeavor broke through this key resistance level with a little strong close yesterday and a follow through surge today. Now it did get up to near the this resistance zone today and backed off a little. But if it does get through here, I would look for the stock to move into the mid-teens. IACI, significant. Look at this long, multi-month wedge. It was exploded through today. 5.4 million shares. Big pop out. Now it pulled back to mid-range. Still closed up to 71 or 6%. And I'd look for this to extend up into the $50 range. PKT, one of our swing trades, it's still extending. Up another 75 cents today. Nearing its all-time high. Reached about 1820, not that far from here. We reached 1780 today. So 40 cents from its all-time high it gets through here. I would look for it to reach up towards the 1920 range, my swing trade target. LF continues to move after coming out of the declining channel. Pop pulled back to retest it one more time, and yesterday moved up. Today it broke out across this high, which I consider significant, to 586, closing at 596. Next up, a test of the um, December highs up here. It looks like we may get up and through that. And if we do, there is some resistance around 670, but I'm looking for a move up towards 8. ARQL, nice pop here. Nice little wedge there. Broke out yesterday. Inside day today with a little gain, but it looks promising enough to say we're going to look for 840 and then 10. And last today is DWHS, DWCH Data Watch. I had to show you this because it's Strong volume, surging technicals, and up every day in a rising flag. This could very well spike at any moment up towards 10 or better. But, you know, I'd love to see a pullback retest around the 8 and a quarter, 8 and a half range to give us a little setup flag here for higher levels. And that's it for tonight. Good luck tomorrow. Bye-bye.